All right, third time's the charm. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is the third video in this series in which we will be talking about how to make a nested list. Arguably the most hard part about the assignment that you're currently working on. Making list is pretty straightforward if you realize what tags you need to use, ordered list, unordered list, list elements, but making nested list can be a little bit tricky. So um, that's why I'm showing you this quick video. So first off, what is a nested list? What you're looking at right now is a, obviously, Google Doc called with a title nested list. And I know all of you up here have seen this button before where we can say things like um, Bob, George, Paul, stuff like that. But if I hit the tab key, I can come over here and say green, red, yellow. And I can hit the tab again and I can say four, six, 30, right? And if I come back, shift tab, I can keep adding colors like purple, oops, caps lock is on, purple, magenta, I think I got that spelled right. And we can come back and add names like Carl and Sue, right? So this is what we mean by a nested list. But this is in Google Docs. Remember, this is a rich text document. You see none of the metadata that is telling it how to display this, right? So I want to know how to do this in a HTML document. So let's get started. Here we have brackets. Boom. So I could hit Control N and start a new document. And then I would need to type doc type at the top. I would need to say everything is HTML. I need to give it a head and a title and a body. And I would have to do this for every single web document I make. If only, ladies and gentlemen, if only there was an easier way. There is. We made a template. So I'm going to go open. Where did I put that template? Ah, oh, look, there's the template. Open template. Boom. Look, I don't have to type that stuff. Now, before we screw up, and the reason I'm making this video for the fourth time is, I want to save this document, but I do not want to get rid of my template. So we are going to go over to File. We're going to do a Save As, otherwise known as Control Shift S. So what this allows me to do is this allows me to take the file I have and save it as a new file. And this is going to be Notes on list.html. I'm going to hit save. Boom. Notice it's no longer the template file. It's notes on list.html. All right. So let's give this a good old title as we get started. Um, again, notes on list. Actually, this is notes on nested list, right? So let's go ahead. Headings are nice. It tells us what we're doing. I'm going to say nested list. Cool. And I'm going to make a paragraph under here where I can say something like, this is a nested list. Boom. So let's get at it. There are two types of nested lists. There are ordered list and unordered list. Ordered list are just what it sounds like. One, get flour. Two, put in a bowl. Three, you know, just order. But they don't always have to be numbered. They could be A, B, C. They could be I, 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 V, 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 I, whatever you want. In fact, you have total control to decide what the list is, or how it's displayed, I should say, <coughs> in CSS. You can also have an unordered list, which would be in UL, which is just dots, asterisks, dashes, emojis, again, total control on changing that inside of CSS. So we have ordered list, OL, unordered list, UL, and all of these contain list elements, LI. Those are your three new elements that you learned, OL, UL, and LI. So let's go ahead, let's get in it, let's make a list. So I'm going to say OL. OL makes an ordered list. Again, one of the reasons I like Bracket so much is that autocomplete feature. Cool. So inside of this, I want to make um, an li. And let's call this, I don't know, last place. I can spell it right. And let's do another one. Um, let's call this one, I don't know, second to last place. Cool. But 
maybe I want to go a bit further. Maybe I want to put a list inside of this list. So I want to put another list. So I'm going to say OL. That starts me a new list. I'm going to put an OL, an LI in here, and we're going to say something like, I don't know, cat. Let's say dog. I'm going to hit the N key to get to there. And I don't know, bird. Okay, so that's the list inside the list. And then I can break out of this list and put another list element. You know what? I have been typing for a while. I should probably hit Control S to save the file. You know, I'm, what does this look like? Let's go ahead and just open it up. So I'm going to hit the auto preview. You could also open up the file. It's popping up here and boom, there we go. So I can keep going here. I could say uh, this would be second place. Look over there. Watch the GGG. I'm going to hit Control Save, and it, auto and it automatically updates for me. I'm going to put another LI in here, and I'm going to say first place. Oops. I'm going to say first place, and I'm going to hit Control Set. Save, and it does that for me. So that's what we mean by ordered list and unordered list. I mean, we can go a little bit further if we want it to, and we can put even a third element in here by saying, let's make an unordered list. So I could say something like A. Uh, let's go G. I don't know, T? And how about a C? Let's clean things up so it looks neat. Hit Control Save, and boom, everything's looking nice. Um, so this is order list. Uh, later I'm gonna show you how to validate this, but this is good for now. So anyway, that looks good. But you know what? Is there another way I could have opened that thing? Again, I'm going to hit Windows Explorer, open up Windows Explorer. I've saved this in my HTML folder. Here's my notes on list. So let's just go open up this, straight up open this in Firefox, see what, what it looks like. Looks good to me. Uh, coming back over to here, what if I don't want to open this in brackets? Could I open this in code? See, can open in code, looks different. Uh, could I open this in Notepad++? And the answer to that question is, yes, I can open it in Notepad++. All right, they all do the same thing. I got pretty colors. Um, hopefully this was useful to you. Thank you so much for watching. Please get your homework taken care of. Thank you very much.